Uh, what's going on guys, Agbaje here and I know I've not posted in a bit but I just thought I would share this little trick with you guys to help you edit 4k video on any laptop now not just literally any laptop so far you can already handle 1080p or 720p editing seamlessly this should work for you and I'm using my laptop as an example because it's the best to use as an example so up on the screen now are my specifications I'm using a very old MacBook Pro and I've been able to edit 4K video with this trick. Now I already have three different videos but I'm going to end up using one but these are clips from my previous videos that I was able to use and edit seamlessly. Now let's take this one for example. Now, once you have your 4K video imported, as you can see, this is 3840 by 2160, that's 4K resolution. And the first thing you want to do is export this video as 1080p. Now, we're going to be using proxies. Proxies are like a smaller version of an original clip that helps you to edit without having to edit that clip itself it's better i show you so once you're here you double click this opens your source um monitor and as you can see even on one over eight resolution i still can't scrub this without it freezing now what i'm going to do is hit command m or Control m if you're on windows and this will bring out your export settings window and what you want to do is export this as 1080p now once you go down to your video tab under your video basic video settings you see your width and your height now this is locked but just hit uncheck this um, box right here and we're going to export at 1080 and 1080 is 1920 and once you hit tab or just click off since it's already locked it's already give you the standard height at 16 over 9 ratio aspect ratio now something i advise you do is edit the name of your proxy export so you'll be able to like differentiate and know what you're dealing with i always add an underscore proxy and i think this is what adobe would give you if you are using their own proxy settings i'm going to save this i'm going to use previews and export now another thing you can do if you're working with a bunch of videos all together and you want to render them out as proxies you can use adobe media encoder and what you just need to do is to have a preset when you're exporting the first video and you have done all the necessary settings you can just go ahead here and save preset and what this would do is okay let's edit a bunch of stuff so let's change this to 1920 and save preset now you just rename this whatever you want and hit on save effect settings and i already have my proxy settings saved quick proxy net and instead of adobe media encoder you also see that preset there now you can also import all the videos maybe 13 15 videos you're working with inside of adobe media encoder and select that preset for all of them and export at once now once you're importing them inside of premiere import them as once as well and once you want to set your proxies you can just highlight everything right click go to proxy and attach proxies now what you can do is after adding the underscore proxy this thing i showed you guys premiere pro will automatically look for the first few letters on the video and attach them back to your project uh, monitor and right click on that footage you just exported scroll down to proxy and attach proxies now i'm going to attach and locate the file you just exported i exported mine to desktop so it will be easier to find and hit enter now once that does is attach that video that you just exported to your original clip now you can drag this directly into your timeline and if once you want to start editing you hit this toggle proxies button till it turns blue now if you don't see this head on to this button editor and and what you just do is locate this button and drag it down here hit ok and toggle it and once that's already in your timeline this is already basically a 1080p footage you're working with and just to confirm that we can check the properties and you can see the original video is still in 4k and the proxy media is 1080p 
and you can edit chop color grade all you want and once you're exporting command m or control m now you want to make sure that you're exporting on 4k and also your source scaling is set to scale to fit not scale to fill or stretch to fill but scale to fit and you can check your bit rates to be sure nothing is tampered with and you can go right on to export and that's been it guys i hope you learned something from this very short impromptu video and yeah if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss impromptu videos like this and i will see you guys in my next one stay safe Dropping on the low, low, lurking in the